Hey there, welcome to Tunis, the capital of Tunisia. My first day of exploring, I arrived late last night coming from Jerba Island. I'm not planning on a big, like, tour trying to see all the major sites in this large city. Not sure what I'll end up doing today. It is getting close to 12 noon. It is hot, but not overwhelmingly so. My general plan is just to wander around the city a bit, give you a taste of it, see what it's like, try to get some sort of a uh, sense of what's going on in this North African capital city so far looking very very interesting very vibrant obviously these are super authentic local markets There is a park nearby that I was curious to uh, walk over to, get a little uh, taste of some greenery. A busy scene up ahead here. What's going on? Okay, we got uh, streetcars. Is this a bank or Bureau of Relations? That's very vague. Tunisian Post, La Post, okay. Long lines for the post office, unless it's something else. I'm here for just two nights and then tomorrow I'm going to Sidi Bou Said, which is only like 30 minutes away over on the coast. And near the ancient Roman ruins of Carthage, which I am really looking forward to seeing. It is such an interesting cultural mix, just, you know, walking down the street, getting the sense of uh, the different influences, different uh, cultures mingling here from all over Africa, I imagine, and elsewhere as well, but uh, not a, like, popular expat community, I don't think. Okay, am I even going in the right direction to the park? Maybe I should uh, 
double check here. A nice sight of those palm trees. Different style from the tropics. Just the way that the uh, leaves hang down and then the like orange. Different from typical coconut palm trees in Hawaii or wherever. Okay, maybe this is the park. Oop, I am uh, chased. Okay, I guess I was going the right way. I realize a park isn't uh, the most exciting destination. It was just something I saw on the map and decided to uh, pick it for somewhere to get started walking. And I hear the call of the cicadas, the Mediterranean sign. You have arrived. Okay, well, as far as parks go, pretty nice. A little uh, break from the noise of the city. Okay, I'm going to uh, figure out where I'm going next. I have no idea. I haven't uh, looked at the major places to see. Okay, we'll see where we end up next. Metro sign there, so they have street trams, metros. The flag of Tunisia, of course. And so Tunis here is in the Tunis Governorate. There are 24 governorates throughout Tunisia. Sections of the country, sort of like states a little bit, but different, of course. Tunisia is majority Muslim. The Main language is, of course, Arabic, and French is also widely spoken because of the French occupation of Tunisia. Today is August 25th, and it is 88 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 31 Celsius. So, quite warm, but uh, not too bad, and there is the sea breeze coming off from over there. The Gulf of Tunis part of the Mediterranean Sea. So we have here a very strangely shaped building. You can see it gets smaller as it goes down. It's like a pair of wings on both sides like that. Hello, Salam. And a clock tower that is accurate, it looks like. 12.30. So we are at Avenue Mohammed V and 
I have the walk sign, by the way. Avenue Habib Bourgubia, which is apparently called the Champs Elysees of Tunis, as in the famous street in France, in Paris, Champs Elysees, a very wide boulevard shopping street with the Arc de Triomphe at the end of it. And so I guess uh, this is that Avenue Habib Bargubia. And my hotel is back down this direction. I'm going to uh, get some food, some brunch, haven't eaten yet, and uh, then drop the backpack at my room so that I can explore the Medina, the old town convoluted marketplace area without having my stuff with me. Although before leaving, I took out my wallet so that I just have my money pouch with a little Tunisian dinar in it and left my other cameras. So I wanted to keep it uh, you know, really simple, not be carrying valuables around the major city. Salam. Stopped at a restaurant here. They have omelets. Let's see if they're serving them at 12.30 in the afternoon. Menu. Merci. Great. Okay, we got uh, French and English menus. Omelets. That's like $4. Actually, no, this is not English menu. It was English on there. Anyways, I can figure it out. Unfortunately, no omelets at 12.30. They stopped serving them at 11. So I got a virgin mojito with no alcohol, but uh, that should be nice and refreshing. And I guess I'll go for some pasta. I guess it's kind of an Italian. Or chicken cordon bleu. That sounds kind of good. All right, a virgin mojito here. So no alcohol, but uh, looks really good. Whoa, that is like the best mojito I've ever had, I think. Despite the lack of Rum, I guess, is normally in a mojito. Chicken cordon bleu with a salad and potato wedges and a sauce. I love Tunis. A lot of police around. There is a huge tank right there with police in front. I'm trying not to film the police for obvious reasons. Although I just uh, jaywalked right in front of them, but everybody else is too. And then there are more police uh, off to the left, right in front of the sign there. So my hotel is right down here. There's also a pretty big arch. down there so uh, let's go take a look and then I'll get back to my room the lights aren't working here so we just got to go for it
What fruits are these? Looked kind of like maybe cactus flowers. Last night when I had the uh, trout or whatever that fish was on the couscous, not trout actually, I don't think. Then he gave me some uh, fruit like as a free dessert. And it was guava, which is not an easy or fun fruit to eat. I love guava juice. But guava has uh, these seeds in it all throughout. So that is not guava unless that is some other type that I'm not familiar with. So uh, yeah, guava is like this really nice soft fruit and then you bite into it and there are these really hard seeds that uh, you have to deal with in every bite. That looks good. It smells really good too. This is where you're wishing you didn't have a backpack on your back to have to worry about in these tight packed crowds. So, uh, definitely get rid of it before the Medina. I think my hotel is right uh, down this street on the right. Let's see if we see the sign. No. One of these uh, streets, maybe back there or something. Quite a scene. I'm guessing uh, colonial French buildings. Tunisia gained independence from France in 1956. 